when we come to swati nakshatra swati means an individual the person who is very individualistic think swati think individualistic like arcturus it falls in the constellation of arcturian stars so it's in the heart of libra the heart of thinking of a higher mind air sign the one which constantly moves i'm jumping over ahead of myself here let's start the intro So there is Swati Nakshatra, being one heart of Libra, and in Libra, Swati is temperament is Devgana, which means it wants to always think about higher intellectual stuff. Okay, it's a highly individualistic Nakshatra. Individualism in the drive of others bringing individuality to the collective is the drive of swati varna or propensity is butcher class which means it is labor which means it has to work it has to work through the puzzles of life in order to find higher meanings the gana is dev that means it wants to achieve higher meanings it's not so much interested in materialism it is not so much interested even in things if one is if the nakshatras which are stuck on the things plane the rakshasagana or the nakshatras which are stuck in the manushagana the human level you can't really bring the higher mind the type of this nakshatra is passive once again passive nakshatras tend to just sit back wait for things to come to them they are more reactive in nature this is the puzzle that passive nakshatras need to solve they need to become active the drive of this nakshatra is samhara which means it is here to dissolve and rejuvenate something bring something new to life the lord is venus which is also a brahmana planet it wants to think it wants to bring higher knowledge through the higher mind you might call it Libra is an air sign, higher mind. Venus is very sensual, and Venus is very Brahman-like, so it wants to bring the higher form of desire. How about that? So, life lesson of Swati Nakshatra is individuality needs solitude for perfection and discover new territory. Swati Nakshatra, because it is so individualistic, has to go alone. Fly free, fly solo. The leader leads the pack. Swati has to lead the pack by working through the intellectual puzzles of the mind. Therefore, it is highly individual. Individuality needs solitude because it is Libra. Because it can get carried away by everything collective. Libra is so scattered; its energy in the collective. So Adi is asking you to collect your energy back and be individualistic in your turn. Go alone. Find the solitude, wherever your solitude is. In that solitude, you will find and discover new higher meanings that you seek. In that, you will have your rejuvenation or samhara. You will bring new stuff in the world. So Adi is a very powerful nakshatra. Okay. In the D10 archetypes, where can Swati Nakshatra do well? Well, I can see right away it will be the 8 and the 21 to 24 degrees, Ishana, ability to find deeper purpose and meanings. It's a Brahmana Nakshatra. Okay? It falls in the Brahmana sign, ruled by Venus. Ninth angle, 24 to 27 degrees in the D10 chart will also do well. The intellectual capability, the Brahma angle, innovative thinking and originality. Swati is all about individuality with originality. Okay. It can also be the 10th angle, 27 to 30 degrees, Ananta angle. 
stability, long lasting success, thought revolutionaries. Swati can be a very powerful thought revolutionary simply because the way it is structured. It's ruled by a Brahmana planet, Venus. Its drive is to rejuvenate. The rejuvenating aspect of Venus in terms of higher meanings, higher mind, higher heart. That is Swati, part of Libra. Okay. Next, we shall be dealing with 16th nakshatra of Vishakha. Meantime, you guys stay stable, stay safe and just be awesome wherever you are. Take care.